Uh, this is a very important announcement today. Uh, we want our service people and ex-service people who've been wounded uh, in Afghanistan or in Iraq to have the very best limbs that are available. And this announcement today means that the clinicians will have full freedom to select from the range of these new bionic limbs that have become available and give them what is right for them. Six and a half million pounds of new funding from the Treasury to ensure that all new casualties coming through will be fitted with state-of-the-art bionic limbs. Uh, and then the Department for Health agreeing that patients who have left the service or patients who in the future during what hopefully will be long and fruitful lives uh, will get these um, high quality limbs replaced through the NHS as they fall due for replacement. The, the commitment that, that's been announced today is the, perhaps the more important thing, you know, the, the money is, is, you know, is a facilitator, but it's actually the government's, um, you know, commitment to offering injured veterans the, the best possible leg. And it's, it's not about any particular leg, it's about having that, that mindset that there's technology out there, let's utilise it, let's make it available to the guys who've been injured so that we can, you know, get as much of my lives as we possibly can so it's you know in that in that regard it's really exciting because it's it shows a, a willingness to, to accept that there's good stuff out there that and that, that you know our soldiers can get something from it so no it's, it's really good